Hey guys, this is Roland, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a day-night cycle in Minecraft using command blocks, specifically the scoreboard command. Now I'm going to assume you already know a bit about command blocks and you have a basic knowledge of commands in redstone, so you don't have to know every command here to understand, but I'll try to explain everything as I go, so let's begin. So to start off, you have to make a scoreboard, and to do that, we have to use the scoreboard command, which helps us keep track of the time. So we'll add a new objective. We'll call it the objective name time. We'll make it a dummy objective, which basically means you have to change it using commands. And we'll call the display name, we'll set the display name as time. Just like that. And we'll hit enter. This will create the objective. Now we need to set the display area for it. And to do that, we need to go to scoreboard objectives, set display, and we'll put it in the sidebar, and we'll set there, set it to times. So now we've set it to the sidebar, which is on the right side of the screen, but we don't see anything yet because we need to set a value for it. Right now, the value of it is nothing. It's not zero. It's nothing, if that makes sense. Which means it'll ha the value of it will won't show because it will show nothing so to set a value we'll have to go scoreboard again and this time players which means it'll edit it'll modify the value of the scoreboard and we'll set it set all of every all players at a time to zero now as you can see I have on the right side of the screen I have time which is zero now we want the timer to count down one second at a time to zero. So to do that, we'll need to make a delay of one second by doing the following. So this every redstone tick is one tenth of a second. So this zero click repeater will delay it by 0 0.1 second. And if I click it once, it'll increase it by 0 0.1. So this will be 0 0.2. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and this will be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2, which is a total of one second delay. So if I send a red redstone signal through, it'll be it'll take one second to cross through. So now we want to make it count down our timer. So when it gets to here, we'll slash scoreboard players and we'll remove all, all players time of one so it'll remove one a time of one from all players so if I send a signal through it'll remove one as you can see and we want it to loop continuously so we'll place another command block above this one set it to chain so it'll run after this has run so it'll run these two at the same time and we'll place a redstone block here so I set block, let's find the coordinates, there we go and redstone block there we go, copy that we'll place it inside there and also we need to delete the redstone block after it has placed here, so we'll put a block above that which will get activated by the redstone block and we'll set the block below it, negative 1 in the y axis, to air. So when I place a resonant block below it, it will keep going continuously. Now, as you can see, the timer is counting down to negatives because we started at 0. So let's stop it for now. It's at negative 13. So we want it to, when it reaches zero, we want it to change something. So, so I'm going to put a command block here and set it to repeat and always active. So it'll continuously repeat this command block with, uh, and it will always be activated. So we don't need a redstone power for this. So we'll do slash execute if entity at Okay, nearest player because all players will have the same time anyways and then we'll have entity we'll go uh, scores so that we want to find the time
time. So do this, and we go time equals zero. So this will run a command if entity has a score, if the nearest player has a score of time, score, a time of zero, and we'll do run, and this will be the command that will run if this is true. So we'll run, we'll set the scoreboard, players, We'll set the player's scoreboard back to zero. Sorry, back to um, however long our day-night cycle lasts. So we we'll do set, and then we'll set it all, set all the time to. For this demonstration, I'm going to set it to five seconds. So my day-night cycle will last five seconds. So there you go. Nothing has happening yet because our time is not at zero. It's at negative thirteen. So now we want to place another command block up here, change it to conditional and chain always active. Conditional means that it'll only run if the command block below it is, has successfully ran. So this won't run. This won't run because this won't run, sorry, because this has not successfully ran yet. Our time is not zero, it's negative thirteen. So let's just set our scoreboard players to zero and see what happens. There we go. Now we haven't we just set our time back to five. Oops, I had a space in there. Okay, I fixed it. Alright, I had an extra space in the command block which means it didn't work. So now every time it's zero it'll set it to five. So let's try that again. Zero five. Okay. So now, if I if I do this, it'll count down from five seconds, three, two, one, and it'll set it back to five when it hits zero. All right, pretty simple. Now we wanted to do something when it hits zero. Oh, what the heck? I stop. Okay. So we want this command to do something when it hits zero. So we want to make a switch command, switch command block, which basically means that it'll switch between the two. So I'll place two command blocks like this and actually have it like this. We'll have two like this and we want it to place a redstone block here which will activate either this one or this one. So I'll, I'll tell you more about that in a bit. So let's just set a redstone block here first. Redstone block replace. So it'll set the block at that coordinate, a redstone block. So now, oh yeah, we also want to delete the redstone block after it, at the same time after it's placed. So we'll set the block below it into air, replace, Minecraft. Okay, now it'll delete it when I place it. So now we want, so every time this activates, we want this redstone dust to move to this side to activate a different side. So when it's day, it'll run this command, and when it's night, it'll run this command to set it back to day, and this will set it to night. So to make it switch places, we'll have it here first. We'll, we'll have to delete it. So I set block, set this to Minecraft Air. There we go. We'll set it to Air. And then we'll have another command block, set it to Chain. And we'll place the redstone here. Redstone. Redstone wire. And we'll replace. So now it'll delete, oops, it'll set it to there. And we'll do the same for this side. So we'll place that command and we'll set it to air. And then we'll place a place a redstone wire on the other side. 
So now, if I activate command block, it'll switch between the two. So now, let's make this one switch to day, and this one switches it to night. So let's just first check if it works. So a countdown of timer. One, boom, it'll switch. Three, two, one, boom. All right, it works. So it'll switch between the two. Now we want to switch to night. So so when it's night time, we'll have when it's daytime. When it's daytime, we'll have night vision. So it'll imitate daytime. So to do that, don't worry about this for now. We'll have to make some new command blocks, which will continually give us night vision while night lasts. So let's build one here. So we'll do slash effect give a, a all players night vision and we'll set the seconds to 11 because if, if we have it lower than 10 seconds or lower it'll start flashing so we want 11 so it doesn't flash and we'll have the amplifier 1 and we'll hide particles true because we don't want to see particles we'll also set that to repeat always active so uh, no we don't want always active so now when we set it to when when we activate it we'll get night vision for an infinite amount of time as long as it's powered yeah we'll have th yeah we'll have this command block set it to day so we want to place a redstone block here redstone block replace we'll set it there Let's remove that for now. Our night vision will go down. It is daytime right now, so you won't see any effects. But this will set a redstone block. It'll change it to day, so it'll set a redstone block. And then if we, and if it sets to night, we'll delete the redstone block. So we'll set it to air. Set it to chain always active. And now, when the timer goes down, we have re we have night vision now. And when the timer hits zero again, it'll delete it. And we'll deal with removing the night vision now. Stop. Okay. Now, to re remove the night vision, we have to clear effects. So, to do that, I'll place a new, new command block here with a, with a 0.1 second delay because if we remove it if we remove the effect at the same time as it gave the effect it won't remove it so we want to wait a tenth of a second and then remove it so we'll do slash effect remove sorry clear clear everyone's night vision alright so this will clear everyone's night vision let's just test it so I have night vision and boom, our night vision's gone now. So this will we want to to place a command block here. So set block. The redstone block. So when when the redstone powers this, it'll run this, which changes it to night. So it'll delete the command block, which won't give us night vision anymore. And then it'll clear our night vision at the same time. So let's give it a try. Let's set it to night. So now it's night time. Let's watch the timer go down. Oh. Oh, whoops. I forgot to I forgot to delete this com this redstone block as when it's placed. So air. So now let's try that again. Four. So you can see our night vision's cleared. 
and when it hits time at zero again, it'll daytime, three, two, one, nighttime, etc. Yeah, you get the point. It doesn't have to be five seconds, you can change it here. You can change the time to, let's say, 10 seconds. And when we run it again, two, one, boom, now, now it'll take 10 seconds to for a day-night cycle. See, it'll take longer. And yeah, I recommend about a few minutes maybe, because a few seconds uh, isn't really good. So I'll just set it back to five seconds for this example. And right now it just switches from day to night. It's pretty boring. We want it to have some effects as well. So when it changes it to night, which is, I'm pretty sure this one, we want it to give blindness because that'll give it a effect. You'll see what I mean. So we'll give blindness for one second and we'll hide particles true. So now, so we'll see in one second. See how to see the effect? Pretty cool. Now that's still pretty boring. We want some sounds, don't we? This is option. This the rest is optional, by the way. Uh, the blindness is also optional. This is just for some special effects. So let's make another chain one. So we want it, maybe we want to play a sound when night falls. So we we'll, we'll play maybe the wither sound. Entity dot wither, and we'll do wither spawn. Make it an ambient noise. We'll make it an a. Also, we want we want to execute the sound where the player is. So we'll do slash execute at all players. So all players will hear the sound at where they are. And then we'll do run, play sound. We'll play it at their location, their relative position. And we'll have a volume of one, pitch of one, minimum volume of one. So now when night falls, now when night falls, Boom, scary noises. Now, now we can add we can add even more effects if we want. Let's just add another command block up here. We can say maybe as something in the chat when night falls, so we'll use the tower roll command. We'll just tell at A, we'll do text and let's say it uh, night has fallen. And we can change the color of it as well. Color. Don't worry if you don't know the syntax, by the way. It's just opening code brackets, uh, quotation marks, text, colon in between, and then what the text is. And the next one is color, and then what the color is, and separated by a comma. Pretty simple. You'll get used to it in a few minutes. So we want it to be red, because that's a scary color. And yeah, so let's test that again. Boom, now it says in the chat, night has fallen. All right. So now we can also make it bold as well if we wish. We can make it bold. True, we don't have to put quotation marks around true because it's a true false statement it's not it's not setting it to um, bold if it's true or not if you know what I mean uh, let's try that again three two one boom now it's as you can see now it's in bold so yeah now we 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 can also add effects to day if, as well, if we want, slash, maybe, slash, tower roll. We go text again. We we'll go uh, day time now. And we'll make this maybe a green color, because that's green usually means it's safe. Oh, no, don't write green in there. Color. Green, actually light green. 
I'm pretty sure it's light green. Or either light green or lime. I'm pretty sure it's lime. Lime. Set it to that. Chain. So all the commands activate at the same time. And oh, lime didn't work. All right, maybe in green. It should be green. It should be just green. I think I'm overthinking it. All right, let's try it again. Night has fallen. I guess I'll make it three seconds just because it's too much time. Boom, see now it's green now. We don't, you can make it bold if you want. Oh my gosh, that is scary. Okay. Yeah, well that's basically it. I made this room over here as an example. So let's test that out. So now it's daytime. We have night vision, it's day. And when it's night, it's night. It's black, it's hard to see, it's scary, and yeah. So, your, your day-night cycles in seconds, you can use a minute, seconds to minute, minute to seconds converter and convert how many minutes you want the time to be. So like, I'm pretty sure 300 seconds is 5 minutes. If you want 10 minutes, 600 seconds. And yeah, it'll take 600 seconds. And you can do some other stuff with commands. You can add more commands here if you want night to have more stuff. If you want day to something happens during daytime, something happens during nighttime, you can just stack more command blocks up there. And also, if you want, if you want to remove the the scoreboard, you can do slash scoreboard objectives remove time. And if I present it, this will remove the scoreboard, but I don't want to do that just yet. And okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it for your day night cycle. Pretty simple. Let's. Let's go through it one more time. So we set a scoreboard using the slash scoreboard command. We'll set a new objective and we'll call it time, make it dummy, etc. And this will be one second delay. We'll have it loop around removing one second, one off our timer every second. So it'll players remove all players time and it'll set block back to here. This deletes the redstone block and it'll just continue in a circle, removing our thing. And once this this repeating always active command block will continuously check if the score of the players of has a time of zero, and if it is, it'll run it'll set it back to whatever our time is, and it'll set a redstone block here, which will activate if depending if it's day or night it'll activate these set of command blocks which will give which will set a redstone block at here which will activate night vision so I'm gonna change it to 10 seconds so scoreboard let's set set our time to 3 seconds so now it's daytime so now let's set, let's set it to 999 so I can explain. So now since the redstone block activated this, it sets a redstone block, it, oh sorry, it changes this to air and this moves it over to this side, moves the redstone wire, this sets a redstone block here which will give us infinite night vision and this just tells us it's daytime now, this is optional, you can add more, more stuff happens if it's daytime and if if the timer hits zero again it'll do the same thing but this time it'll activate this side because the redstone wire has moved over to here it'll delete this one and set it back to this side it'll it'll set a redstone block it'll set air to this one so it will no longer give us night vision and then it'll set a redstone block here which clears our night vision and it'll give us blindness for one second for a cool effect and play sounds and other effects. You can add more effects on here and here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a pretty simple day night cycle. It's it's mainly used to make like maps which are inside like for example if I had like a horror map inside here and I want to have a day night cycle, I can do that. If it's inside a building, but but if it's like daytime, then 
if you're in the out and side in the open then this method might not be really useful might not be really good but you can still use it it's still usable and yeah I hope this tutorial helped I'm not really good at making tutorials as you can clearly see but I will improve in time thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video bye